time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're going to do a tutorial with Boris Graffiti in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection. Now, we're going to do one on how to wrap an image or text around an image. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull your video down to the first timeline track. And then you want to look on your computer for a file called Earthland PNG. Once you find it, you want to pull it down into the second timeline track. Double click on it, bring up the effects editor, and you want to go to Boris Effects. If you don't have Boris Effects, you can't do this. But if you're interested in buying Boris Effects, see some of the great things they could do, go ahead and keep watching. Now, once you get that selected, you want to click on OK, and you'll click on Edit Boris Graffiti. You'll see the image here. You go down and click on the Advanced tab. So, how are we going to get this bad boy to turn to a sphere? Well, first of all, I'm going to click on this next to the word text, change track shape. I'm going to change it to a 3D sphere. I'm going to open that up. We're going to go to the face. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to text and change text to color. Then we're going to use the eyedrop tool to pick a color. Then we want to go back up to the sphere solid color tab. I'm going to click on lights, change it to 65. And we want to go ahead and turn on the uh, effect here to call some ambient lighting onto it. Make it look like the sun's going off of it a little bit so it looks more realistic. So, now once you get that done, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the, the face tab of the sphere. You want to click on that and you want to go up to track and you want to add a new text page. So now you see you got a new text page here. Now you want to go ahead and do reset style on this to take out anything you had on here previously. You're going to select wing dings for the font and you're going to do 24 for the font size. And then you're going to type N five times. And hit enter. N five times. Enter. N five times and enter. So you're basically all done with that. Now what you want to do is select all of this text by doing control A. It'll select everything on there. You got to make sure you do this before you do the next step. And you want to select the font size 264. You want to change the chemming to negative 45. You want to change the leading to negative 32. And then you want to go ahead and change the style scale Y to 200. Now you might be like, well, why am I doing all that? Well, it's going to make a nice, pretty sphere for you in a little bit. It's pretty simple to do. Basically, you should just see all white in this window now, which you see all white. Everything's all white. Good to go. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead back over to the text and you want to change it to let's update that first let's go back over to the text and change it to a 3d plane from 3d plane to 3d extrusion And you just go ahead and click on the shape, change to 3D extrusion. You're good there. Now the next thing you want to do is select this tab again. Go to textures. And you want to click on FR. And leave everything else as it is. And then you want to go to the background and you want to go ahead and change the host media to straight alpha and invert key. And now we should see a nice big globe, a nice sphere. It's so beautiful and lovely. All right. 
So we're good with all of that. Just a few other things we got to do real quick to knock it out and make it how we want it. So we want to go back to tab here. We want to select a three of solid color and we want to click on the first keyframe here. And once we're done that, we're going to go to the position tab and we want to go to set Y down here. We want to set Y to uh, this way, just set it to linear, and we're gonna set this to one, not fourteen. We're gonna set it on one. And the last keyframe is already on zero, so that's all done. Pretty good to go there. So basically, now if you preview this, you can hit the play button on the bottom, and it will spin for you. Of course, it's spinning kind of slow right now, but as you can see, it is spinning. So you're going to get this with the ambient light coming off like the sun's there, spinning around. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Now, if you want to, you can also add some uh, text to this. The way that you're going to add it is if you go to Face. I'm going to click on Face and then Track. And you're going to do a new text page. You get another text page here. If you double click on this, open up a new text window for you. You want to go ahead and reset this style here. And you want to change this from wing dings because wing dings is just basically a bunch of symbols and stuff. So you want to change that to whatever font you want to use. I'm going to use Impact. Because that's what I like. You don't like it too bad for you. You can take your own font. This is my thing. Doing it my way. I'm gonna pick impact. And I'm gonna change this to yeah, let's say 100. And then I'm gonna go to the style palette for this. And I'm gonna pick few things that I like on here. So the font, let's go to text. I'm gonna use this fire engine text. And I'm gonna use the gradients. Okay, let's stop this bad boy from spinning around. He's slowing down everything. Spinning around. I'm going to use this gradient here, the linear diagonal. And that's good enough for me. I'm good with those things. I'll just click update on here. And it should. Well, you know what? It would be good if we put some text in here first. It's always a beautiful thing. Make sure I get this how I want it. Do control A to select it all. Go to my style palette again. I'm gonna pick this gradient here. There you go, it's updated. So I'm gonna update this on the globe. And now you will see the letters going around the globe. Once you're done, all you gotta do is click apply. All of these windows are closed and now you see a globe. All you got to do is let it render and you're good to go. That's it. How to wrap text around the image of a globe. In Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching. I want you to do a few things for me. If you like this video, click on the like. Click on the little thumbs up. If it's on Facebook anywhere else, click like. Make sure you show people you like it. Please, wherever it's at, leave a comment. Tell me how you like it. Tell me what you'd like me to see. Do with Boris or with Pinnacle.
Just leave some comments on there and I'll be glad to go ahead and reply to you. And don't you ever forget to subscribe.